Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back with another YouTube video. I just graduated college and was so busy the last couple of weeks with finals and moving out of my apartment and just getting things situated, but I'm really happy to have more time for planning, more time for YouTube videos and to be a little bit more present on Instagram. And so I'm just really excited about the next few months. So today we're gonna do a plan with me and my main catch-all planner. I have a vertical layout and it's super neutral, which I love. Um, I have this new sticker book called Good Vibes that came out in the back to school release. This is my favorite sticker book from that release. I love it so much. So I thought it'd be perfect to use for my first official week of summer, you could say. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick out some more stickers. I love the colors in this sticker book. It's very retro, very, very cute. And um, the colors are just my favorite. So I'm just gonna go out and pick some more and then we'll get started with the planning. So I'm going to start out with the biggest sticker, which is this pink long vertical box. And I'm going to place this over Thursday. Starting out the biggest sticker always helps me when it comes to layering. It just makes sense in my mind to start with the biggest sticker and then layer all the smaller stickers right on top of that. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I took these really cute boxes all from the Good Vibe sticker book and layered them over that pink vertical box. Then over on the left hand page, I'm going to place this really cute sticker that says hooray for today. And then of course, I'm going to layer another box right over that. This one has this really cute little rainbow in it that I wanted to incorporate in this week's spread. So I'm just going to continue this process of adding stickers and trying to layer as much as possible. I like to keep the colors pretty balanced as well on both sides of the page. So I used that dark blue box on the right page and then I'm adding that little quote dark blue box on the other page just to kind of balance out the colors. Um, I really love these little designs and um, stickers that are kind of outlined in pink. So I had to use that one that says, hey girl. And then there's these other little washi strips that are so cute. They're pretty long as well. So I'm probably going to cut this one down that I'm using. Um, I love these because they're great for layering and um, they just add more color, more dimension to the page. And so that's also another tip I have for layering is using those long skinny washi strips. Those are really, really great for layering. Back over on Sunday, I'm going to take this really cute yellow checklist sticker and then layer another piece of that really cute washi right over it. Um, I actually didn't really like the way that this turned out. So you'll see in a couple seconds that I actually peel it up and um, just not use it because I just didn't really like the way it was looking, which is totally fine. You can do that. Um, there are plenty of stickers in this sticker book, so I don't really feel that bad about um, wasting a sticker, I guess you could call it that. But um, so I'm just gonna add a couple more stickers. I really love this cute little license plate sticker that says sunshine. I had to use that one as well as the little water bottle with the stickers on it. So um, I put that one down on that checklist, but you'll see that I'm about to peel it up and move it around a little bit. Oh, 
So I'm gonna put this blue checklist sticker instead. I like the color a little bit better. And then I'm gonna add these really cute little, I don't even know what you call these. I kinda just call them like quote boxes. Um, I love the rainbow ombre color thing that's going on. So I'm gonna grab um, a sticker from each of the little colors so that there's like a little rainbow happening on the right page. So. Um, these are great, again, also awesome for layering and just adding a little bit more fun to your spread. Okay, so after doing that, I'm gonna add that Hydroflask sticker back um, onto Sunday. Super cute, I really, really love that sticker. And then as always, I gotta add a couple checklist stickers. I use these almost every week in my spread. They're great for finishing off um, the layout and they add some color when there's just like a bunch of white, which is totally fine, I'm fine with like not every corner of the page being covered with stickers. I just like the extra color that a checklist sticker adds. So I always add a couple of those. And then I really like these gold stars that were also in the sticker book. So I'm just gonna take a couple of these and add them to the very top of the page where like the days and numbers are. So um, I'm just gonna do like maybe three or four little star clusters and um, just kind of keep them towards the top of the page. Okay, so I love how that turned out. Last but certainly not least, I'm gonna take a deluxe metal disc and go over all the clear stickers. I always like to do this at the end of um, putting a spread together because it just helps the clear stickers look more transparent and um, get those like little air bubbles out of the stickers. So um, I'm just gonna do this real quick and then we'll put it back in my planner. So that is how my spread turned out this week. I absolutely love the Good Vibe sticker book. I can't wait to put together some more spreads using those stickers. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.